Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Legends of Ocarina of Time. And I was actually wrong. For some reason, I was thinking there was like a heart piece over here. It's actually a sculpture. I don't know what was wrong with me. I guess it's just one of those things sometimes you get things mixed up. And it may not happen to you, but sometimes it happens to me. Actually, it happens to me a lot in videos. I never realized that. Sometimes I get stuff mixed up. Anyways, now with our new treasure, the hookshot. Best, best treasure in all of Zelda. I don't care what you have to say about it. It's stinking awesome. You can uh, actually hookshot these roofs. Roofs. That's always a weird word. Yeah, I just gotta lock it on the right spot. And over here will be a sculpture for you to slay. And, you know, I, I'm not gonna use swords anymore. I got a stinking hookshot, man. Why, why, why would I need a sword when I have a thing that shoots hooks? <laughs> that was always my little joke for it. But I actually did miss a, um, another sculpture in the graveyard, so I might as well get that now. Might as well start the episode off with some sculpture gettings. It's a nice way to end the. Uh, what's today? I think it's Thursday. Yeah, it's the nice way to end the Thursday night, I guess, you know. Just hanging out in the uh, graveyard. I think you can get this when you're an adult and a kid. I'm not sure about that, though. Nope, it disappeared. Unless it's, like, over here. I uh, hope it actually did not disappear, because that made me look kind of silly. Come on, go away, Poe. I think you are. Yeah. Okay. So let's look. Yep, can't even get it here. That's, that's annoying. Let's do that. Uh, something I didn't mention, though, is you can actually go back in time. Uh, if you return the Master Sword back to the pedestal in the Temple of Dime, you can actually revert back to your childhood. So that's uh, <laughs> it's kind of a funny way to word it. But yeah, that's, that's, that's to me, like, the thing when I was little that made this game just so much different from everything else. Uh, it, really, it was really groundbreaking. And I like how Kakariko has this, like, red tint to it. It kind of adds some character to the already very characteristic. Uh, place that is known as, you know, <laughs> Kakariko Village. Anywho, we're going to... You'd probably be kind of confused on where you need to go to next. But you know, that Sheik person was talking about, you know, the green forest. One was in a forest or something. Right, let's see what Nabby's talking about. I wonder what's going on in the forest right now. I'm worried about Syria too. Or Syria too, you know. So yeah, that, I guess that's a pretty good hint on where you should go next in your adventure. And yeah, Epona's waiting for us. I don't remember calling her. That's really weird. It's kind of odd. <laughs> let's not go into why Epona is here. And let's just, you know, die. Yes, I'm aware there's water over there, Epona. Don't you? Or Epona. How do you say it? I always have a habit of saying Epona. Epona, whatever. Either way. Either way, you know who the crowd I'm talking about. So what's up? We need a, we need a hustle, man. Might as well show you what happens when you're running out of carrots. The opponent just gets all tired. It's like, oh, I can't go on anymore. <sighs> and yeah. Takes a while. Takes a while. And you get all your carrots back. So that's good. Yeah. Oh, I'm a stack Kakariko, but horses aren't allowed in the forest of the Kakariko. I mean, not Kakariko. Why do I keep saying that? The Kakori. Man, I get, I get those mixed up. Because they both start with K. And yeah. It feels kind of weird coming back here when we're an adult. But yeah, since we're actually not a... Uh, oh, crud, what the heck? You're not allowed in here. What the crud are you doing? Who do you think you are? That was a giant Deku Bob, but that's who he was. What a jerk. You know, it looks like, holy crud, everything's been taken over by these stinking jerks. What are these jerks doing, man? There's actually a sculpture here. I have to make it nighttime, so I might as well do that now. Yeah. Yeah, I had in the habit of staring at my own um, controller when playing the song, so if I'm not always talking, that's why. Or maybe I'm sipping some water, or maybe I had a burp, you know, that's that's why I take time out of my commentary, you know, to edit that out and be like, you don't want to hear me go, Bleh! like a nasty hind burp or something. Yeah, it looks like everybody, like all the Kokori children, they're just disappeared. Even the guy that was messing with the grass, dude, he's gone. Who knows where the crud he is? That weird, creepy girl. Actually, all the creepy girls, they're creepy, man. At least I thought when I was little. I was like, girls are creepy on the weird. Anyway, there's another Sculptula there. That makes, um, two Sculptulas we got in this episode? Not bad. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do, man. Let's... Huh. And that giant Deku Bob, that was like the biggest deal to me ever. We can actually go back to our, um, our treehouse. You know, where we started in the original game. I never thought you could do that, because I thought you couldn't fit through the door, but you actually can. There's no significance in going there, though. So, I mean, you can, it's just there's not really any point. I mean, I, I guess, <laughs> to Link, maybe there's a point. Who knows? Anyways, though, Lost Woods. Yeah, now you can't actually count on 
serious song, like, guides you through here. And why did he just jump? That was random. So, I guess you just gotta play it by memory. <laughs> hey, what the crud is Great Meadow doing here? Whoa, 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 what are you? <laughs> oh, you can wear Kakori-ish clothing, you can't fool me. I promise, Siri, I will never let anybody go through here. Huh. Syria, huh? Well, screw you, I'm gonna play Syria song. And you're gonna be reminded of her so badly that you'll be like, Hey, I miss Syria, and go crying home. For you're not that great of a meadow after all. Uh, uh, Melody, Syria plays that song all the time. You, do you know Syria? That song? Syria taught that song only to her friends. Okay, I trust you. Whenever I see you, I don't know why, but I remember him. Ha ha ha! Finally getting my revenge on you, jerk. No, I'm just kidding. Revenge never leads to anything, so there's no point in trying to get it. Uh, over there, though, is a skull chill, but we'll do that later. So, just remember to do that eventually if you're trying to go for 100% in this game. Which, admittedly, at this point of the game, I should have 50% of all the skull chills. But, uh, I mean, nobody's perfect, so <laughs> I guess there's no point. Uh, oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Get your bombs out, man. Get your bombs out. I love this secret. Nothing tells you to do this yet in the game, right? But do this. You're about to be flabbergasted. Holy crud, it's a secret. It's a secret, yeah! It's a secret to everybody. Haha, <laughs> nobody played that game. Anyways. <laughs> nobody in my age group played that game. Anyways, there are some wolfos. Um, yeah. And this room looks so cool to me for some reason. Yeah, now we're taking out with one slice from Master Sword, man. I like the way this room looks. It's kind of like glitchy, though. Uh, I mean, I just I just get amused by simple things like that, I guess, though. Oh, man. All right. I'm tired of fighting you, dude. I'm tired of fighting you. Yeah. Uh, come on. I'm sorry my GameCube controller is super loud. Can't do much about it. All right, why is this guy taking so many hits? The other guy, like, took down one one slash. What the crud? This guy's a deal. Thank you. Now what's the reward for coming in this super secret place and beating up two wolfos? Uh, admittedly, just not that hard of enemies. Oh, this is the first instance of a purple rupee, which gives you 50 rupees, or is worth 50 rupees. So there's that. Anywho, yeah, just a nice little secret. Uh, you can pick that up if you want. But now Manavi's gonna like freaky it. From here on, we're going to do some narrow passages. If you take it slow, maybe you can sneak up on some enemies. Yeah, this is... Uh, I always rush this part. Uh, I'm gonna just start explaining now. There's gonna be some, like, things... I forget their names. I think they're, uh... What are their names? Uh, John, thank you for talking to... Oh, gosh, I can't remember. Anyways, there's gonna be these dudes. They have spears. And they will try and charge you. To the best of my ability. Oh, they're moblins. Thank you. Should have remembered that. Get too close to them, though. You can't, like, you can't kill them, from what I understand. There's no actual way to harm them in the game. But yeah, they start charging, and then just lunge at you with their spears and do massive damage. And it'll hurt. That's alright, because there's a fairy fountain here. It's actually a skull when you get here, eventually. Uh, uh, okay, good. Yeah, this this part requires a lot of patience, which I usually don't have, for the most part. Eh, I guess that's just the kind of person I am. Alright, come on, mister. Need to hurry up and finish up the episode. Eh, eh, come on. Eh, so impatient. Yeah, and as soon as they turn around, don't expect, like, oh, now we can, like, sneak up past them. I'm actually here behind them. It's kind of, like, crazy. Right, let's slowly take this. Let's take it slowly. Don't need to jump into a relationship. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, no. You little turd. I hate you, mister. Oh, gosh. Okay. So now we can do... Okay, good. <laughs> Alright, so we juked him out. I don't know what juking is, but... Yeah, come on. Let's see what this guy's doing. Oh, he's facing that direction. That's not good. Eh, okay, let's just wait patiently. And listen to the awesome serious song. Okay, so we did that. Okay, now we can go behind him. Screw being patient! No! Just hurry! Hurry, go, go, go! Okay. Oh, crap, I went the wrong way. Curses! Curses! Darn it. And cursing things isn't good. Even if you were joking. I don't think the Deku Nuts can even stun them. They're kind of impervious to everything. Okay, let's just hurry up. Yeah. I think there's up. Oh, yeah, there's definitely moblins here too. Yeah. They're moblins, pretty sure. Uh, you can probably hear a uh, sculpture up here though. Let's see, yep. Oh, we can actually hook shot it from here. Didn't know you could do that. But you had to uh, go on top of the thingamajigs. Yeah, another sculpture. Might as well grab that. No reason not to. You need to help out those brothers who are cursed by the golden spider thing. You 
things. Let's try and just... Ugh, okay. Yeah, and if you thought these moblins were hard, actually, I did a pretty good job taking care of them. Check out this jerk. Look at this guy. Holy crud, this guy's like ticked. Holy crud, look at that. Look at the size of that melon. Yeah, but apparently he's so strong and his biceps are so huge he cannot turn around. It's kind of funny. Just slash him in the butt. And three hits. And um, something kind of cool about this guy. You know, he has gigantic thick blue fire. I mean, green fire crap. Uh, now you're colorblind too, John? Jeez. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much that's how you get to uh, where we need to go next. And hey, we're getting a cool cinematic scene here. Hey, that's where Sarah used to sit. Seven years ago, anyways. Hmm. It's kind of melancholy, you know? Like, man, so much has changed. Oh, crap, it's Sheik! Trying to get all sentimental, and Sheik's just gonna come over here and swap us upside the head or something. I don't know what, what his deal is. The flow time is always cruel. Its speed seems different for each person. But no one can change it. <laughs> A thing that doesn't change with time is a memory of younger days. In order to come back here again, play the minute of the forest. Or, a fo the minute of forest. <laughs> I was trying to make it a whole, like, epic there and stuff. I like this song, though. It has a very good rhythm to it. You know that, dun dun dun. Then the uh, second part, dun dun dun. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> I messed up the rhythm on it. I was trying to, like, play it just like the song, but... As you know, that's not always how things work in this game. You may want them to be one thing, and then they just turn out to be another. Yeah, man. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, what um, this song actually does is, you see that little pedestal over there, and it kind of looks like the one from the Temple of Time, that now we can teleport whenever we want from any direction to this place. And Link, I'll see you again. Actually, I'm sure it's not, I'll see you again, Link. You know, all happy and stuff, because... Stinking, who knows what's going on in here, man. I don't know, dude. It's kind of crazy. Anyways, though, um, we got a crow load of done in this episode, if you ask me, guys. We got some skill tools, we got some... Wait, that's all we did. Oh, we got here. And we got a song. That's it. Anyways, guys, uh, that... Bye.